Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm gonna show you a review of this JC14 Brother Portable Free Arm Sewing Machine. It comes with an operation manual and of course a DVD with instructions so that it would be easy to use especially for first time users like me. This is the main power and sewing light switch. This switch turns the main power and sewing light on or off. And this is the foot controller. When you press it down lightly, the machine will run at a low speed and when you press harder, the machine speed will increase. This is the pattern selection dial. You can rotate the dial in any direction to choose the stitch that you want. And this is the upper tension control dial. It controls the tension of the upper thread. And from here you can see the needle threader. This is called the presser foot lever. It is used to raise and lower the presser foot. This is the quick set bobbin where you can see the bobbin itself for threading. This is the flat bed attachment with accessory compartment. Accessories included are three needle sets. We have four bobbins. One is on the machine, the zipper foot eye, the screwdriver, the buttonhole foot A, the zigzag foot J, which is on the machine. Of course, the foot controller shown earlier in the instructional DVD. This is called the spool pin that holds the spool of thread and this is the bobbin winder that winds the thread onto the bobbin to use as the lower thread. From here you can see the thread guide which is used when winding the thread onto the bobbin and then threading the machine. It is very easy and convenient to follow the guide because it is just indicated on the machine itself. This is the reverse swing lever that pushes the lever to stitch in the reverse direction. Now let's start to thread the bobbin. First is you pull up the spool pin and put a spool of thread on this pin. While holding the thread from the spool pin with your right hand, pass the thread towards you in the groove on the thread guide. Then, pass the thread around the pre-tension disc and pull the thread in completely. Then, take your bobbin out and let's start threading this bobbin. Pass the end of the thread through the hole on the bobbin from the inside of the bobbin. Mm -hmm. 
Then put the bobbin onto the bobbin winder shaft and slide the bobbin winder shaft to the right. Turn the bobbin clockwise by hand until the projection slides into the notch of the bobbin. While holding the end of the thread, gently press the foot controller to wind the thread around the bobbin a few times, then stop the machine. When the bobbin seems full and begins spinning slowly, take your foot off the foot controller and then cut the thread. Slide the bobbin winder shaft to the left and remove the bobbin. You can now put the bobbin in so the thread comes out in the direction shown by the arrow. Hold the end of the thread, push the bobbin down with your finger, and pass the thread through the slit as shown. Then replace the bobbin cover, put the projection into the bobbin waist retainer groove and push closed. For the upper threading, pull up the spool pin and put a spool of thread on it. And holding the thread from the spool with your right hand, pass the thread towards you in the groove on the thread guide. Feed the upper thread as shown in the following illustration. And make sure you guide the thread through the thread take-up lever from right to left as shown in the following illustration. Now put the thread behind the guide above the needle. The thread can easily be passed behind the needle bar thread guide by holding the thread in your left hand, then feeding the thread with your right hand. Then thread the needle from front to back, leaving a thread tail of about 5 cm or 2 inches. If your sewing machine is equipped with a needle threader, use the needle threader to thread the needle. Make sure you raise the presser foot lever and the thread take-up lever before you feed the upper thread. If you incorrectly feed the thread, you may cause sewing machine problems. And lastly, you can take your fabric on and start stitching. Thanks for watching guys, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates.